Hello viewers! Today we're going to talk about my favorite types of snails. There's the African giant snail. He's a big snail with a big heart. He's a gentle giant. Next we have the Roman snail. Hail Caesar! And then there's your garden variety garden snail. This little guy's looking for a little sweet snail love. Mm. Are the new viewers gone? This channel just hit 4,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And I can't hardly believe it because it seems like just a few weeks ago, we hit 2,000 subscribers. That's because it was only just a few weeks ago. Lots of new people here. Welcome to all of you. Maybe it's time I reintroduce myself. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm not a scientist, but I like science stuff. This channel didn't start off as a science channel, but I had a few videos that were science-y and it brought a lot of people in and they started asking more questions about science and it's something I've always enjoyed, so we've just gone with it. But as I said, I'm not a scientist, which means from time to time, I'm gonna get stuff wrong. And that's okay. But as more people have joined the club, it's exciting and I'm thrilled, but I've been under a lot more pressure to make sure I get all my facts straight because there's always somebody there to let me know when I don't. I mean, back when I only had 50 subscribers, I was pretty sloppy. So as you can see, the sun is really just a, a giant ball of oily rags on a tetherball string being flung around the earth. Oh, and vaginas are made out of string cheese. I don't have an ego about this, but you know, we talk about a lot of sciencey stuff and science mysteries and stuff like that, and every once in a while, I'm gonna get something wrong. And I'm always quick whenever I'm corrected to make a correction on the video, put an annotation up there or something like that. I don't wanna spread wrong information, so I make sure and do that, and it's not a problem. So here's a short primer on how to let me know when I've said something wrong. Step one, act like we're talking face to face. Step two, there is no step two. For example, wrong, 1915 GR was what set off Eddington, you thought it was SR. Wrong, we have been humans as we know it for about 200,000 years, not 50,000 years. Here's the thing, he was right. I went back and I made a correction, problem solved. But is that how you would react in real life? This Rihanna song is pretty cool. Wrong! Probably not, because that would make you an asshole. My bet is that it would go more like this. This Rihanna song is great. Actually, I believe that's Beyonce. Why, I think you're right. Thank you so much for clarifying that for me. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. What a wonderful conversation we're having. <laughs> I don't know this person. He may have thought that I'm somebody that gets on my high horse. I do have a channel that says Answers with Joe. Maybe he thinks I know everything. Maybe that aggression was some kind of preemptive strike. But really, I have no problem being corrected. It's totally unnecessary. So if I'm wrong, just let me know. No big fuss. Even better, include a link to the information that you're trying to share. This is the internet. Use it. And of course this doesn't just apply to me. Be civil to each other in comments. Every once in a while I'll get, I'll see these flame wars that pop up in the comments on subjects that nobody has an answer to and yet these people are just at each other's throats and calling each other names for no reason. In fact, there was this massive epic flame war in the Fermi Paradox video comment section that was just ridiculous and believe me, I am going to savagely make fun of it. But that's just kind of the way things go on the internet when you're completely anonymous, when there's not somebody sitting right in front of you, you're just staring at a screen and typing your rage out at somebody. We forget that there's actually a human being on the other side of that, a person that has their own issues, their own problems, their own lives, their own struggles. So, you know, we can be better than this. So easy peasy to all the new people out there, welcome. I'm really glad to have you here. Keep me honest. I wanna make sure I'm providing the best information and that I'm not saying anything that's wrong. Something I am gonna be working on doing in the near future is actually bringing real experts on to do interviews on some of the topics that I cover so that you can have an actual perspective of somebody that really knows what they're talking about and not just somebody that finds it interesting and wants to convey that to you. So that's it for right now. I just wanted to say that you guys, thanks a lot for, for being subscribers. Thanks a lot for watching. All the new people, sorry if I faked you out with the snail video, but uh, eh, have a little fun. I totally stole that from Zay Frank, by the way. Anyway, uh, this is a nice little midweek video. You guys go out and have a great week and I will catch you next time.